for lovely Miss Darlene. I got some chairs for you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get her, 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 get Chair. Give me a chair. Give me a chair, bro. Here, this one. Here. Here, sit her down. Sit her down right here, bro. Sit her down. Sit her down. Sit her down. Sit down. Have a seat, mama. No! No! father man listen to us man this you don't want this to be your mom right here this will be your mother 21 years later this will be your mother this will be your mother 21 years later this will be your son I had to grow up without you listen to me man listen to what we're saying listen to me them guns ain't where it's at go get a job I don't want this. I don't want my mother going through this, y'all. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hurt my mother no more, man. I don't want to hurt my son. Y'all are my sons, man. Oh, God. Y'all been growing up out here without fathers, without solid men, without the real thing to look up to. Nobody mother should have to go through this, man. Dude, let's do what's right now because this is what the after effect is. This is the after effect right here. Another family brought back together. I got my kids. I got my kids. Twenty years ago, eight months ago, twelve days ago, and nine hours ago, I just walked out of SEI Phoenix. I went to prison sixteen years old. Sixteen. I'm 38. My birthday was Monday. I had a life sentence. They told me I was going to die in prison. You know why? Because I lived that lifestyle, man. I had that same look right there. I thought this was what it was hitting for. It's not. You going in there, they feeding you bread and water. That's what they feed you. Because the food of the child ain't nothing. They not playing when they say life. They not playing when you get caught with that gun. They not playing when you pull that joint out with that mop stick on it and you put something down. They not playing. They not letting you out. They, you ain't, ain't none of y'all got that money. None of y'all. None of us. You sitting here right here, right now. And Meek said something in one of his songs that I heard years ago. I've been waiting on this day since I was 16, right? That's what I came out with this shirt. I've been waiting on this day since I was 16. I'm 38 years old, man. This is real. This is real, man. This is real. Y'all got to take this as an eye-opening, man. An eye-opening experience, man. And try to do something different. Dare to be different. Them people in the mountains, they not playing. They lock you in the hole. They beat you. They kill people up there. Yeah, you tough. But when you go there, they don't care about nothing. They don't care about nothing you did in these streets, man. Nothing. All them young boys that just came up there just now, 25 and under, all of them talking about chasing the bag. Now they chasing their family. I don't even know my dad. If I seen him, if he was to walk in front of me right now, I would not know it's him. I don't know him at all. I don't know, I didn't see no pictures. I didn't want to see none of that when I was a young boy. I wanted to see him. All that shit did. So since you got shit dead right now, that, that's from the heart, bro. You got you got, you got to rock out with this, him, bro. bro. I'm gonna say this, man. In all honesty, man, as a big brother to all y'all, right? I grew up that same way. I know who my dad is. I never had no relationship with him. I love him dearly. I held on to that resentment and that bitterness for a long time, especially going up in the mountains, man, being that young, man, having that sentence like that, right? And I'm saying it took a long time, man. It took nearly half of the, more than half of that 20 years, man, to get past that resentment for him. Because I realized that, man, and I'm saying this to all y'all because I don't know y'all circumstances, but 